<laughs> Go ahead, make my day. <laughs> Feel lucky, punk. <laughs> All right, we're good. Okay. Action. Trey, I really want to commend you for coming in here and wanting to learn how to how to farm, how to better provide for yourself and your family. What is it you do for work right now? Work in radiology, doing X-rays, and uh, CAT scans. Okay, well that's a good job, and you make a good living doing that. You can provide for yourself. But what I found that we've missed, and, and honestly, I feel like my generation has failed your generation, is it's all been about hard work, hard work, hard work, but not about teaching and empowering. Okay, you just do do work hard in school, get a good job, get it together like that, and that's important. And you've done that part, but I found going through. I, I had a real shift in my situation. I, I grew up, and I all, all I'd done is hard work. I grew up in the coast of Oregon. I'd worked in a lumber mill. I worked commercial fishing, various things like that. And I wanted to use my head instead of my back to make a living later on because I thought when I get older, I'm not going to want to be doing as heavy work as I'm doing. Well, I had a shift, so I went to school, got my associates, got my bachelor's, and went on and got an MBA, got a master's degree. Okay? Not with the idea I was going to go out and work for corporate, but I want to utilize that for being an entrepreneur and starting my own business. Little did I know that I ended up going back and utilizing my hands as well as my head. And that's good, but what I find is a lot of people your age were never empowered to, to, to build things, never empowered to learn how to use your hands to be productive. And when you do that, as you plant plants, as you grow food, as you build a coop or whatever you might do, there's an empowerment that comes with that that's innate within us as a man, okay? And that's something that we failed you at, but that is ah, the train. That guy, his dad told him that he be a man because he'll lay on that <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah. He's got that down. Right. Yeah. But, but that's something we failed at, failed at and, I, and I apologize for my generation. But I also, I'm not just going to apologize and say, that's good, go get it from somebody else. But I want to empower you, I want to mentor you, and help you to become the full man that God's meant you to be. And that's learning how to be a provider, protector, but also how, and you're able to do that, to take care of things with the economics and that sort of thing, but also how to fix things, how to prepare things, how to grow things, how to produce things. Because we can, a lot of times if we're using just our heads, like when I might have went into, say, finance with my MBA, I can make a lot of money doing that, but am I really producing anything? Most of the time not, unless I'm working with a manufacturer. And so is it all about the money or is it also about what we can do to have benefit others, to leave a legacy, and to make a difference in empowering people and passing down a legacy. Like your grandfather, at least I know your great grandfather, knew how to grow food and grew food. Yeah. Your father, maybe, maybe not. And so those are the, and, and I don't know. I mean, is that pretty, pretty accurate? Yeah, pretty accurate. Yeah, because that generation failed to be able to speak to your father's generation to pass it on down, okay? Yeah. And I'm probably more close to your grandfather's age than your dad's age. But with that in mind, that's where the failure happened. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you need to stop there. So my commitment is is try to teach you how to use your hands so you can fix things if you have to. Use your hands so you might grow things. Use your head, because you're educated and know how to do it, to figure out the best way to grow things, not just throwing things in the ground and hope it'll work. But be able to learn a procedure, a process that will work, and it will be able to produce a harvest and in doing so, not only can you take care of yourself and your immediate family, but you'll be a benefit to your community and in some circles, a, a pillar in your community because you, when, you'll be the go-to person if something breaks. You'll be the go-to person if they don't know how to grow things. You'll be the go-to person that can say, yeah, if you stay with us, this is what will happen. And the more people we can empower to do that and the more people we can send out, the more we can rectify the problem that was done in the past of, well, you shouldn't learn to have to work hard. I don't want you to have to get out in the dirt. Just play video games. It's okay. You don't need to do it. I'll take care of it. Uh -huh. But in doing so, we thought we were providing for you and help you. We're actually failing you. 
and I'm sorry for that. Thank you. Will you forgive us? I forgive you. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome.